Hi. What I've got here, effectively, is the Raza init demo project. And in this video, I'm going to show you how slots work inside of Raza so you can store variables over a longer period of time across your conversation. In particular, what I would like to do is I would like the assistant to be able to learn my name. Now, given a user who wants their name learned, we can have an assistant ask for it. The user then can reply by saying the name. In this case, I'll write down Vincent. And my goal here is for my assistant to remember this. And that then later in the conversation, if the user were to ask for their name, our assistant is able to retrieve it. To do this, we need two parts. We need some custom actions that are able to handle these requests from the user. But moreover, we need some sort of way to remember something during the conversation, which means that we will need to have a slot in our configuration, which these custom actions will then set appropriate values into. To implement this, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the right intents are around. So I've got an intent here for, hey, I wanna tell you my name. I've got another intent here that will say, hey, could you repeat my name? And I have this, and I've also made this separate intent where the user is giving their name. The goal for our custom action will be to take the entire utterance and accept that as the name of the user. Given these intents, the next thing I need to do is make sure that they appear in a story. So I've made a very simple path here where first greeting happens, then after an intent, tell name, the assistant needs to formally ask, we then have to give the name, and then follows the first action that we have to implement, namely the action that will fetch the name and set the slot. And then if later the user says, hey, could you repeat my name? We need another custom action to retrieve information from the slot and then tell the user the appropriate name. Now note that we will need to have a custom action here. The main reason being that we might not have a person's name set into a slot, which means that we will need to give a different response. The next thing that we have to configure is the slots in our domain.yaml file. We still need to have all of our intents in order, but one thing we need to have now as well is we need to have this slot specified. What I'm saying here is that there is a slot called name that we want to keep track of and that it is of type text. We also have our responses like you normally would, but we also make sure that our custom actions are declared properly. Now, if you're doing this yourself, note that it might be advisable to run Raza data validate when you're doing this. It might be the case that you accidentally misspelled an action in either your story file or maybe an intent in your NLU file. And when you run this command, Raza will automatically try to find some of these errors and notify you of them. The final thing that we will need to configure are our actions. The first action that we have here is meant to set the slot. And we're assuming that what the user is giving us is the name. That means that we can ask the tracker that is passed along here for the entire text from the previous message. What we can then do is we can save that as a variable we can utter a message to the user, notifying them that we will remember the name, but the slot isn't set by this yet. If you want to set the slot value, this is the most important part. A custom action will return a list of events that will need to occur, and this slot set event will be our way to make sure that our name is remembered. Note, by the way, that all of the objects that I'm referring to are important at the top. Finally, we do need one more action. Namely, we need to have some logic to figure out what to send back when the user asks for their name. The first thing we'll do is we'll use the tracker once more, but this time to get the value of the slot. If we haven't passed the name just yet, then this name will be equal to none, which allows us to write this if statement. We can tell the user that we don't know the name if we don't, and we're also able to tell the user their name if we do. Hence the if else statement. And note that this custom action only replies some text back, 
so we don't have to concern ourselves with sending extra events down here. So let's run all of this, but before we do that, we should remind ourselves that we have our endpoints.yaml file, which will need this endpoint configured. Let's run everything now. So I can say hello. I want to say I want to give you my name. It asks for my name. I can say Vincent. I get the reply that we're going to remember my name. And finally, I can ask, what is my name? And we indeed see that the name is properly remembered. And if we go to our stories file, that means that the name that was given here is remembered by our assistant here. So there you have it. We are using slots inside of Raza to store things that we're interested in over a longer period of time in our conversation.